These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? Xingbao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao Zhong to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Anandogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Damn, I right, motherfuckers, we back in here. Oh my goodness. This motherfucker is grown as hell now. Damn, where we been? I haven't played this game in about a week. But that goes to show you how much I actually did play before that. And, you know, 20 minutes of gameplay gets me about one video. So if I played the game for about 8 hours, it was, what, 16 videos or something like that. But you know what? It's actually more than that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it. And then I'll resume when I get over to the checkpoint, man. Because as you can see, God damn it, I'm... Oh, shit, bro. I'm not going to sit up here and make y'all watch me go all the way to goddamn fast travel. So, I'll be back. We're going to cut it for one second, and we'll be right back. All right. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Oh, man. It's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in terms. It's in terms, or not at all. We must compromise, Connor, however painful that may be. 
Try and solve all the world's problems at the same time, and you'll wind up solving. Man, I'm probably gonna hear that bullshit. Hey, it's my home. No matter what you thieves call tax men say, if the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and dig it themselves. It's not open for discussion now. Open this door, or these men will break it down. Ah! The bullets, we're coming in. Ah! Oh! Trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Let's go ahead and... Ooh! Please! He tried to do that. He tried to hit me with the 360 out here. What's up? Who wants some? This is too easy. This is ice cream. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, man, how many times I gotta hit these dudes to kill them? Good lord. Oh shit. Oh, he got laid out. Woo. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. You hear him? He was in here talking like he did all the goddamn work. Know what I'm saying? Like that's that was me. Look at this big fat pig, lit literally. All right. No, excuse me. Now it's crazy though, because the last time we came out of the Animus, I think on the last video actually, Connor was still a teenager in his late teens. Now this dude is a grown ass man. He looks totally different. He looks just like his mom. Uh, I don't need to dispose of the tax, tax collectors right now. We can ignore that till later. We'll worry about that later. Because that's probably all that's going to do is add nor notoriety to what I'm trying to do now. And, you know, it's hard enough. I got to walk through these streets out here um, without get being caught in the first place. I think I'm a level one notoriety. Level two, th these motherfuckers start walking up on you every time they see you. Level one, you could do a little bit of stuff before they run up on you, so go ahead and do that. When I did discover also, is you can actually call for a horse by putting the, uh, changing your, going to the weapon select screen. And then going down to the horse, picking that, and then push the triangle. Then he whistle. <laughs> but I'm sick. I ain't sick. It's goddamn sinus season out here. It's always sinus season for me, man. I said sinus season. Sinus season. Seems. Oh, shit. That's not good, bruh. Okay, now, am I, am I free to just walk past these kind of dudes, or are they going to stop me? So, we're going to walk through. I'm VIP. Nobody can put their hands on me. You know what I mean? Let's go here. It's probably going to be a cutscene or something. Let's see what they talking about in here. You know. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man, 
May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. All right, so we got to destroy the tea at the docks. Now let's see how far the docks actually are, though. Oh shit. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. And he ran off like a like a punk. I ain't even have to say nothing to the young brothers. Okay, I don't have any bullets. It's telling me to limit my fire use to six or less. So I don't see how that's going to happen. But anyway, let's go ahead and get over here. Um, I'm still at either level zero or one notoriety, so I can just run on through. Now, for, for whatever reason... Okay, yeah, that's cool. See, it ain't paying me no attention. See that? I can just walk on through. Always clear your notoriety before you jump into these missions. Because if you do have to travel from point A to point B, it's easier to do so if you can just walk. I mean... I, you can't just walk past if you if you you know you're gonna be investigated by these suckers. Anyhow, this is pretty close. I usually cut the travel times out, but look, look how close it was. Are we in here? Okay, so we're about a hundred meters away. Now I bet you this shit go red though, meaning you can't. Yep, look at that. Destroy the smuggle car. Okay, how, how do we do this? See, now I'm automatically level two, two notoriety, man. That ain't fair. That's bullshit, man. See, I don't want them to see me, man. Chase money.